Dr. O'Neill here. Would you like to learn a trick to get an extra couple of days off of work? Watch this video to find out how. Let's talk about the periods or stages of disease. So as you can see here, almost all diseases are going to follow this five-step process. Now, it's not always going to be a beautiful looking bell curve like this, but let's go through each step and I'll give you some examples. So first on the far left here, we have the incubation period. This is a period of time when you were, in, you were infected, but you don't have a disease. So you've been colonized by an organism. It's increasing in number, but you're not actually sick yet. So this could be as short as a few hours for something like cholera. It can be maybe a day or two for the common cold, uh, two or three days for influenza, five years for leprosy, up to 10 years for HIV. So this incubation period can be very, very long or very, very short. But during this period of time, you've been infected, but you don't have a disease. A disease is actually when your body is having trouble maintaining homeostasis. So you're going to have signs or symptoms. So incubation period, just remember, infected, no disease. The prodromal period is where you're going to have mild signs or symptoms. Maybe you're just kind of tired. Like personally, I know that if I get a couple good nights sleep and I'm still tired, I know my body's fighting something. Maybe it's the tickle in your throat. These types of things tell you that you're on the way to the period of illness. It doesn't mean that you can't stop it and can't get better, but that's where you are in these stages. The period of illness is when you're getting very, very sick. You now have a disease. You're as sick as you're going to get. The period of decline, you're still very sick, but you're getting better. You can tell that you've turned a corner. And then we have the period of convalescence. So convalescence basically means regaining your strength. So you're feeling quite a bit better, but you're still tired. You're still wore out. So one very important thing to remember here is that you can actually spread this disease during any of these periods. So of course, if you're super, super sick right in the middle here, the period of illness to the period of decline, you're probably more likely to spread the disease. But during the incubation period and the period of convalescence, you can still spread the disease. So that technically means that you can spread a disease before you're sick and after you're sick. So feel free to try calling your boss and saying, you know, I really feel like I'm going to be sick at, uh, in a day or two, so I should probably stay home and rest. Or call your boss and say, I'm feeling better, I'm 99% better, but I need to convalesce, I need to regain my strength and see how that works for you. All right, you know more, go be more, go change the world.